I know I've not updated you guys pretty much all day. So, here we go. Here's your big update for the day about how Easter went. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Sassy? You doing good? The boys are doing, we're playing with a toy. Actually, I think Emeril has two toys in his mouth at the same time. So, happy Easter, everybody. Um, I am so exhausted. Physically, I'm exhausted. Mentally, I'm exhausted. But... And I really do not want to go to the church. I don't want to deal with crowds, but I'll have to. So, and today we'll be visiting with my grandparents and going to Adairsville to eat with them. And hopefully tomorrow I can just chill at home. I really just need a day to just chill. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I got sunburnt. It's all across here from yesterday. I thought I had sunscreen. I did have sunscreen, but apparently my face still burned. So, now I'm about to get dressed. I'm already worried that what I'm wearing isn't appropriate, though I've seen people wear things similar to this at church before. So we'll just see what happens. Hey guys, so there's my sassy girl. There's Mr. Emerell being cute. And there's Mr. Riddler on the bed. I'm a sassy girl. You gonna wag your tail? Oh, sassy. <laughs> so, I know I've not updated you guys pretty much all day. So, here we go. Here's your big update for the day about how Easter went. It wasn't bad. Um, my anxiety did fine. It wasn't as crowded at church as I thought it was gonna be, which was nice. Mm -hmm. And then, after church, came home, got vlogs uploaded, got to chill for a little bit. And then, once my parents came home, we all went and met um, both sets of grandparents in Adairsville for lunch at a place called the Adairsville Inn, which was like a southern cooking buffet. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys this now, in case you ever want to know. Most places, if they have like a country cooking buffet kind of thing, usually suck. <laughs> they usually taste horrible. So, if you want real southern cooking, don't go to a buffet. It's a bad idea. Um, and I got to see both sets of grandparents, my aunt and uncle, and my, I don't know exactly how he's, like what word to use to describe this kid's relation to me, but he is my cousin's son. He was being raised by my aunt and uncle. So, fun times. And he's so precious. I love this kid to death. And then, one set of grandparents went back home, and then we went to the other set of grandparents' house. Hung out. Um, Mom, Mama, and Jan and I played Phase 10, which, if you guys know, that is one of my favorite card games. I ended up winning. <laughs> I mean... I'm told I'm really good at the game, but the thing is, the it's chance. Like, there's not really any strategy. Well, there's kind of strategy, but what kind of cards you get, you don't get to control that. It's really just whatever you draw. So, there you go. We stayed there for a while, and then I got to see my cousin and my cousin's girlfriend. The girlfriend is not the mother of this child. That's a whole other story that I'm not going to go into. Um, I keep thinking of her as the new girlfriend because I've never met her before. She seemed really nice, though. And then we came home, let the dogs out. MRL got into trouble because he and Riddler lately have been, like, running over people's feet and getting, like, two in their space. And MRL actually caused my dad to trip over him and fall onto the ground. Luckily, my dad did not break any bones. 
I mean, he's 60. He doesn't have brittle bones, but still. Um, so today, training lesson for both Riddler and Emerell was on, first we got them to settle and quiet down for a while, and they got to truly learn what settle means. Emerell could do settle a lot better than Riddler. Um, settle is different from lay down. So, for us, like, lay down is like, you know, you lay down, and you wait until whatever you're told to do next. Or in Emerald's case, his command is place, because he confuses lay down with down, like, get off of that thing. Um, and then settle means, okay, you need to lay down, chill, you're going to be here for a while, you need to be quiet, calm down, that kind of thing. Emerald's a lot better at it than Riddler. And of course, while doing that, I also had Emerald doing some focusing exercises. Tried to do the same with Riddler. He has been trained to focus before, but because of training Emerald, I've been more rusty with Riddler's training, and I really need to get back to training with Riddler. Especially need to get him to focus again. Um. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm after a long day of seeing people, and like this whole weekend, I'm just. So exhausted. Um, we also did the torture game again, where I made them sit and wait while I opened my door, and they couldn't leave until I said, okay, you can go out the door, because they need to learn threshold manners. I jokingly call it the torture game, because it tortures Riddler more. He hates waiting. Drives him up a wall. But it's something they gotta learn. And of course they get more mad when I only let them out one at a time. So I'll let Sassy go through first. I have her in the torture game too, but she, of course I have no worries with her. I know she'll sit and stay until I, told, until I tell her otherwise. Oh, and on top of that, I also have been teaching them that when I say settle, I should not have to tell you stay. Because I do tell them stay. But I'm working on trying to phase that out, being like, you know, what the command is, is what it is. If I tell you to sit, you sit. I should not have to tell you to stay. But, I mean, we're working on that. Um, what else? Oh, I laid in bed most of the evening watching YouTube. And then I suddenly got really, like, the weird dizzy lightheaded feeling that I've had a few times before. I suddenly got that out of nowhere. And... I don't know what the cause could be. So, like, I text my mom, and then I manage to get downstairs and lay with her for a little bit. She's thinking it's the medication that I'm on, that I could be outgrowing it. I don't know. I'm not ruling that out, but, I mean, it could be. I've noticed that out of the four times this has happened now, only once has it happened while I was not laying down. I was walking. The other three times I've been laying down. I have not felt anxious any of these four times. And then again, you know, like you can get anxiety without feeling it. But I don't, I'm starting to think this is not anxiety related. I don't know. But I finally managed to come upstairs. And I'm just so like physically and mentally worn out. I didn't, I honestly didn't think that I would be able to hold up the vlogging camera. Because... I know that sounds silly to be like, oh, hey, you don't have any energy to hold up your camera. But if you're physically and mentally fatigued enough, like, this could be a workout. And I mean, this thing has a little bit of weight to it, so. And of course, gravity is a thing. You don't, well, I'll show you guys, maybe. I have my elbow balanced on my knee. So that's why you don't get a lot of these good, better views. You get a lot of, like, this thing because I just can't hold the camera long enough. And sometimes I'll, like, put it on something, but that doesn't always happen either. But now, I'm tired, so I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, how did your Easter go for you? Did you have any fun plans? Like, whether you celebrated Easter or not, like, how did it go for you? Like, did you have any fun plans, or was it just a Sunday, or did you have a fun plans for a Sunday, or nothing for Easter, you know, whatever. 
So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassafrasum. Good night, Emerald. Good night, Riddler. Sweet dreams.